Do you need all fluent arms to move in parallel to support your throughput needs? Do you need to process additional plates while some plates are incubating? Are you processing three or more plates in parallel? Fluent Control Scheduler lets you define the process for one plate or a group of plates and then you tell it how many you want to run. The scheduler then calculates a plan using Google's operational research tools to process all the plates in the shortest time. This leads to increased throughput and allows you to get the max from your Fluent's awesome hardware capabilities. Let's see how easy it is to set up the process for a single plate. Fluent Control lets you define a process in edit mode. We'll start with a work table that we have already defined. You will see that as well as the carriers on the work table, we have defined plates to process in labware groups. A process is made up of process steps that are linked together to describe how the labware flows through the process. Each process step is schedulable. So let's go ahead and drag a process step into the process editor. Double-clicking the process step opens up the script editor, where we can create the script lines needed for that step. You can even control several devices from within one script node, and the scheduler algorithm reserves those devices in the plan. To help the scheduler create an optimized plan, we define the expected duration for each step. The scheduler is dynamic, and so it adjusts the schedule at runtime to handle any variations in execution times. Now we'll put in all the remaining steps, pipetting, washing, incubation, plate reading, and so on. Some steps are time critical, such as an incubation after reagent addition. We can also define the timing constraints between process steps that force the scheduler algorithm to keep the critical timings. While we are creating the process, Fluent Control shows a Gantt chart. Here we can see which actions take place at which times and with which devices and plates. You get extended info when you hover the mouse over a step. Now we put the process into a method, and here we can also mix different processes as well as normal scripts to run before and after processing. Now we go to the touchscreen to select the method we want to run and the number of iterations or copies that we want to run. While running, the touchscreen shows the progress in the Gantt chart. Scheduled runs allow you to increase runtime and walk away time significantly. So to be confident you can walk away, TCAN Connect informs if any user interaction is required or if there is any significant change in the end time. If a step takes longer than the expected duration, maybe because of an unexpected user interaction, the scheduler gives the step extra time in two minute increments as long as the timing constraints are upheld. And because Fluent Control Scheduler is dynamic, a new schedule is calculated to handle the new situation. At the end of a run, a labware report and a timing constraint report are generated. The labware report shows the time of each labware movement for each step, as well as the expected and actual durations. The timing constraint report shows if all the timing constraints were met. Great for GXP reporting requirements. Fluent Control Scheduler lets you automate long-running processes such as cell-based assays, cell culture and passaging. Here processes can run over weeks and months and incubation times are defined in days. When processes run for weeks, we need to be able to add new processes into the system without having to wait for all of the processing to complete. Fluent Control Scheduler offers dynamic loading, which allows you to add a process to a running schedule from the touchscreen. We can also add processes to the schedule programmatically with the new add task command that lets you specify which plates to run with which process and when. The time can either be relative or absolute. You can of course use Fluent Control's powerful if-then logic to make decisions in the process. For example, to exchange media and incubate again if confluency has not been reached. The user sees the progress of each schedule process and also when the next process will be executed. And of course, if you want to do something else with the Fluent while plates are incubating for several days, you can switch 
Fluent Control back into its normal mode and run system maintenance or even run other processes. And when you are done, it's easy to switch back to the long running mode.